Okay, so... Do I need to say something about that? All right, hello everyone. And today is something really exciting. Um, so as you can see, uh, I installed Ubuntu Touch on my Pixel 2. And on the right side, you see the PinePhone Beta Edition, something that I reviewed before. And this is going to be a very big video in sense of the content and discoveries because the difference here is drastic. So I'm reminding you, this is the Pixel 2, um, just the normal 64 gigs that I purchased new for uh, close to just 100 bucks, uh, which is amazing phone. And I installed on this phone um, Ubuntu Touch just now. And this is um, Pine Phone, the one that I also reviewed. Um, and uh, yeah, so what's happening here is that um, when I was installing uh, Ubuntu Touch on um, the Pixel 2, it prompted me that I need to have a version of Android um, 9 and lower. I think it was 9, but I had Android 10 and I proceeded anyway. And the result is it's working perfectly fine. So um, the thing is, uh, the difference is drastic, absolutely drastic. Comparing uh, Pine 4, like, even like you can see, all right? So comparing the animation, you see, okay, this is, if you want to open the menu, if you do the same thing on um, the Pixel, you can see it's much smoother. So when I installed Ubuntu Touch on Pixel, my first reaction was, wow, just wow. This is absolutely amazing. It's smooth, it's very snappy. Um, you have basically all of the goodness of the Pixel 2 hardware utilized. It doesn't lag, it's super fast. And um, I haven't tested it completely yet, but this is my first impression. Uh, I'm going to post another video on in-depth review of Ubuntu Touch on the Pixel because I'm aware that this um, particular hardware is not... Um, um, it's not compatible in the same way as um, in the Pine phone. I know that from the Pine phone um, you can get messages, you can make calls while on the Pixel some of the functionality may not be available. But look at that. Just look at that. This is very snappy. This is supremely snappy comparing to the Pine phone. And, uh, okay, camera, uh, I've never opened the camera. It's, oh, is it working? No way. Hold on, hold on. Okay, look, camera is working. Look, look at that, look at that. Camera is working, unbelievable. And it's working very snappy. I mean, of course, it's, I don't, yeah. It, oh, it does have focus, no way. Look at this. Okay, what if we take a picture? Okay, just before that, hold on, guys. I'm going to compare. Um, two things. All right, so this is the camera on the Pixel and this is the camera on the Pine phone. Still waiting, waiting, waiting. Opening camera. Okay, so... Do I need to say something about that? Look at this. Look at this. So as you can see, um, the I don't even need to talk about this part, right? So it's clear that uh, Pixel is handling Ubuntu Touch like a hero, um, the camera part, and um, the Pine phone is, yeah, well, I mean, it's trying its best. All right, cool. And if we, ah, uh, come on, can we, yeah. Oh, wait a sec, okay, let's keep this up here for now. And what if we take the picture? Wow. That was freaking fast. Really? Did you see that? Oh my goodness, and I have a camera roll and it's working and I can zoom. Wow, I'm very impressed. Again, I'm discovering this feature just with you right now. Maybe it can do video too. Wait, no way, no way. Uh, okay, allow. Okay, so this is the sample of the video from um, the Pixel 2 running Ubuntu Touch. Uh, all right, so it like honestly, of course, it's comparable to the Pine phone, at least at this stage. Okay, now can we watch this video? Um, I think we should go. No, all right, let's go to gallery. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Okay. Yes, look at that. We have, here's our picture. And I think, yeah, this is our video. Okay, we have media player app opening. Okay, so this is the sample of the video from um, the Pixel 2. Right? I am so impressed. I am uh, so, right, so impressed. Look at this. Obviously, of course, it's comparable to the Pine Look phone. at this. I wouldn't be able to do it on um, the Pine phone. I just wouldn't be able to. Like you saw, yeah, you saw the picture quality uh, for video. Yeah, I, I just don't have even to try. It just won't work. So it looks like it's worth to get Ubuntu Touch 100% on, um, on your Pixel, on your older Pixel. I think Pixel 3 uh, is supported much better than Pixel 2. Um, and I'm very impressed. I'm really impressed. Look at the screen quality. Look at the snap. Look at the snap. Look, look. It's definitely better. Okay, I don't know if it can make calls. I don't know if I can receive messages because there is no SIM card. But for now, okay, I, I will be really honest with you. So, um, Pine phone is great uh, if you want to support the community, if you want to um, get some custom um, software again, like you can you can boot multiple operating system um, from the card. But again, um, I think the original Pine phone, the better version, um, is maybe not worth purchasing at least at this stage, maybe it's a good idea to buy the next generation because they have a Pine Phone Pro. Since for me, comparing, let's say, just the Pine Phone and uh, Pixel, let's say, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's almost uncomparable. Like Pixel just crashes it. It's absolutely crashes. The screen, the quality, um, the snappiness of everything. If I can make calls, this, this is my daily driver. Like again, I was trying to, I was trying to work with the Pine phone, but it was just hard. Battery drain, everything else. But installing it on the Pixel 2, I'm incredibly impressed. Um, of course, we have a, yeah, we have our terminal. We have access to everything. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. So imagine your Pixel now completely runs um, Linux software. So. It's amazing. Um, I'll try a few more things. So what I was really interested to see was um, the, okay, I'll just say some other apps. Okay, this is weather. Okay, fine, there's no location. How about the browser? So this is the stock browser. So, all right, cool. Let's try to go to YouTube because it's the most demanding website on, on Pine Phone, it was very painful. Um, wow, that, that's that's just fast. That's that's incredibly fast. Okay, so let's go for some video. They say that to have a child is to have your heart. Nice. Walking yeah, on sorry the for advertising. Uh, I have nothing to do with this, but it's working. It is working. Wow. Seriously, and it's working in a landscape portrait mode. I am very impressed with this one. It's amazing, seriously. It's snappy, it's fast. Um, because before I couldn't really use the Pine phone since it was over here, yeah, even now it's, it's very hot. It's overheating, um, it was randomly switching off at some point, uh, battery was draining within hours. And installing this on Pixel, it's just incredible, seriously. It is incredible. I'll try to install a SIM card and then to see if I can make calls. But at this stage, like again, the camera was something that completely blew me away. Like I couldn't even imagine that um, the camera could be so good in comparison um, with the Pine phone. I thought it's some problem of inside the Ubuntu Touch itself, but no way. No way, and you can, you can record videos, etc. Wow. Um, so, okay, let's, let's put a kind of uh, summary for this video. I just installed Ubuntu Touch here. Again, I, I'm about to check all of it, but it's clear 
that if you are trying to test the Ubuntu Touch, I believe it's worth just to get an older Pixel, I mean older Pixel 2, Pixel 3, and then flush it there, comparing to purchasing the original Pine Phone, not the Pro, because I think Pro version is going to be much better. Uh, and again, don't forget this, for this one, you need, um, again, this is an Android flash, soft, uh, Android flash device, which means you need to use ADB, fastboot, etc. And this is native um, Linux support. So that's why, of course, these two devices, they're kind of different, they're in their own category. But if you want to try Ubuntu Touch, um, go for Pixel, because this thing would cost you around 100 bucks new you can get the second pixel new for around 100 bucks. That's what I did on the review of my previous video. And uh, PinePhone would set you up for again, 150, 200 dollars. I forgot the price already. And uh, it's not the best experience for the Ubuntu Touch at least. Um, and uh, basically, yes, honestly, this is very impressive. Looking at these two, um, I'm just saying that before I said that Ubuntu Touch has a future, uh, trying to do it on, uh, trying to test it on the Pine phone, which was, as you know, like it's super laggy. It's like super, super laggy. And when I switch to Pixel, I'm saying that it will be, and there is a future, 100% for Ubuntu Touch. We just need more devices like Google Pixel um, running this operating system. So big thanks and shout out to UB ports for everything that they are doing. It's amazing. Um, we definitely need to support the system. We just need to get the proper hardware. Um, and as you can see, experience will be very snappy. Like it's not the issue of the OS, it's the issue of um, the hardware. So if, ever, if, if we get the Pine phone with the same snappiness, of um, the pixel there is no problem or just get your old uh, or just get yeah just take your pixel phones whatever with, uh, i think the pixel would be the best for this one to be honest like seeing the hardware acceleration etc um, and look at this experience more apps would come um, more again yeah just i think it's a question of the apps at this stage uh, once we get more apps this system is going to be uh, not just usable, it's going to be usable every day. Like you already have you, you already have some applications like mail clients, etc. So um, yes, this is my review for now. Really impressive. Um, again, Pixel 2, 100% go for Ubuntu Touch, 100%. Let me know if you try the same thing. Uh, I'm going to post another video, but for now it's super impressive. Yes, like definitely 100%.